According to UN reports, more than one in every eight Americans are living in poverty. Now you may be wondering, why should I know this, or how is this important to me? But with the economy that we live in, anyone is at risk of falling into poverty. Research from Confronting Poverty shows that about 60% of Americans will experience poverty for at least a year. Poverty is a big problem in America, which continues to get worse. Now, as easy as it is to fall into poverty, it is so much harder to get out of. A lot of times it leads to homelessness, which is also another big problem in America and the rest of the world. Although statistics can show that homelessness has gone down since 2020, it isn't entirely true. According to the 2020 census, they count homelessness, homeless people living outdoors and at other common locations where they are known to sleep. So this is an account for people who are not in these common locations or people who, have, who are living in shelters right now but are still considered to be homeless. No matter what, homelessness is always gonna be a problem in America with many factors that contribute to this. Some of the factors being low income resulting in not enough money to pay for housing, people escaping violence, traumatic events, or sudden unemployment. Some people tend to blame homelessness and say that it's their own fault for the situation that they're in, which isn't true at all. People also put blame on them for being lazy and not putting in the work to get a job and get off the streets. It's so much harder than people imagine it being. Now, it may be easy for someone with a house, access to hygienic necessities every day, reliable transportation, and help from others, but this isn't something that comes easy for homeless people. A lot of companies don't like hiring people with, without a permanent address, proper hygiene, no contact information, or if there's a significant gap in your resume showing that they haven't had a stable job in a significant amount of time. Now, there are a lot of ways, there are a lot of people out there trying to help fix this problem. Um, I recently heard this story about a married couple called William and Sandra, and they also have a dog, and they're experiencing homelessness in Nevada. Sandra has cancer, has problem controlling her bladder, and is prone to seizures. One day, a stranger named Nate had walked up to them and asked if they could get their dog and them something to eat. William, the husband, responded with, I would rather just get diapers for my wife because I don't want her to get embarrassed when she pees herself. So Nate returned with food for them and their dog and the diapers that they wanted, and they were very grateful to him. Nate ended up sharing their story online, hoping that he would get support for them and be able to gather donations to help them out even more. He was soon able enough, he was soon able to get enough money to get them a room at a local hotel for a week. More and more people kept hearing about their story and donated money, diapers, and food so they could give them to William and Sandra. The more the couple's story spread, the more money and donations people gave them. And Nate was able to help buy the couple an apartment. He paid for the first two months in the down payment so that William would have enough time to find a job and keep up the payments on this apartment. Although we can't make an impact in someone's life like Nate was able to, there are other ways that we are able to help. There's this organization called City Rescue Mission, and they give temporary housing to those who need it. And this includes food, job training, educational opportunities, and access to mental health care. They take all of their donations and put it towards funding others' lives. The different donations that they accept are money, clothes, hygiene products, food, and something on their Amazon Smile. And basically, Amazon Smile is where you order it and it gets directly delivered towards them. And even if you don't feel comfortable donating to City Rescue Mission, with an organization like City Rescue Mission, you can still help out. When you pass by someone on the street who is homeless or asking for help, you can easily help them. And this isn't just about, this isn't just about um, giving them money, which is something that they probably might not want. And they might want food or something else. And all you have to do is just ask them what they would want. And you can help them out by that. Because all they really want to do is be heard by somebody. Now, you may be wondering, why should I help them? And this is always a question thrown around when others want something from you. 
and it doesn't affect you no matter the choice you make. The reason we should be helping these people is solely because they deserve a second chance and deserve better. Although their life doesn't affect yours, that doesn't mean that they aren't worth it or your time. And homelessness doesn't pick or choose. It can happen to anyone at any point of the time. And no matter how it happens, everyone that fell into it deserves another chance to live the same life that we live right now. In conclusion, poverty is a huge problem in America and we are the ones who have to fix it. There are 35% of people who are unsheltered. And the more that we help and donate to these shelters, the more that they can grow and they can help and be able to reach out to more people. Although homelessness will always be a problem no matter how hard we work at it, the slow steps to help get people off the street is what really matters and how we are able for, to prevent it from getting worse.